Come on. No, not you, Pei. Oi. Ah, okay, so this is the, uh, the first floor and this is our bathroom at the moment. It's kind of a bit of a strange bathroom, isn't it? It's very strange because there's no... Well, what can you see that's missing? <laughs> there is no bathtub and no toilet. It's really, really weird, but it's a huge bathroom. It's massive. You could actually turn this into a sort of super king-sized room, couldn't you? Yeah, like that is an enormous shower. You could get a whole rugby team in there, and we will do one day. Aye aye. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we need to make it into two bathrooms, don't we? Yeah, our plan is to... First of all, we've already drilled a hole down there to sort of insert a toilet pipe, and then we'll actually turn this into... Yeah, oh, we're stood in. We'll have a wall here. So we're, we're stood in the bathroom. bathroom. That'll be the bathroom for that the, the pink room, or the one that used to be a dressing room. Um, so you've got like a little toilet there, obviously the shower here. So that's it. Sink, it's pretty, there. pretty standard. And then for the other bathroom, We'll come around here. You've got a nice bathroom here. Undecided whether we'll leave these sinks. Or different but then, sinks, but then you've got a cute sinks there, right? Nice shower here. Different sinks. Uh, yeah. Kind of keep the vanity stationary. Yeah, yeah, it could stay there. Um, and then that's the shower you're in there. Yeah, toilet there. Toilet and a bath there. there, I think it was. So I really want to have a bath just below the window. But the trouble is, all the windows open inwards in France. Yeah. And those ones are quite low. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how we're going to fit the bath in. It'll probably have to be, it won't be a roll top, I don't think. Yeah, you really to want to. the options. Yeah, we'll, we'll find something anyway. As long as we've got a bath, I think that's fine. And there's two windows there, so that's light for that room. Hmm. This one has one window. But well, obviously this is going to be a wall, so we're going to have to have glass up here and here. Do you think, hmm. So as you'll get no... It's strange having like light from one bathroom to another because you could have peeping toms. It's fine to have light from here in there. That's what you mean. Oh, I guess you could just make it frosted. Slightly frosted there, yeah. clear here. Mm. Anyway, we've got to work, work yeah. out the plan for this one. Um, right, on to the next room. Saving light, saving electricity even. Oh, in our sanctuary, our haven, this is our current bedroom. Yeah. Second one we did. It's love like this the main room. bedroom, isn't it? Yeah, I love this room. It's it's sort of beautiful that it's got sort of three windows or windows on every wall, which means yeah. it's a really, really light room. It does mean that it's been quite challenging sort of working out how to lay sort of organize it and get the layout right for the room because there used to be a door there down to the orangery yeah. um, and the madam used to, as, you, as you'll have seen in the first part of this video, the madam used to go through that door down the stairs and then have her breakfast in the orangery. I always but, think you're being disparaging but madam means missus in French. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just like, um, <laughs> That's what it's, her a, name. it's a respectful <laughs> term for the lady of the, the Not chateau. Not she was a little madam. For the lady of the chateau. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we but, couldn't. Because if we, you could get a four, you could get door. a small four poster there, but then you wouldn't be able to have bedside tables. Tables, have to shove it all over there. Yeah, and it would overlap the window, so yeah. it'd be really weird. So it doesn't really work having your bed in the corner. Can't have one here because of the can't window. Can't have one here. Can't have one could there. Could have windows. one there, but it's yeah, weird but to walk into a room. And then that's where the radiator that's is. That's where the radiator is. So yeah, we so were. But yeah, beautiful original panelling. We painted it. We need some knickknack, paddy wax stuff mm. in there, don't we? Yeah, some yeah. Some treasures. It's a good point. We've got loads of those. We should just stick yeah, some in there. Put some in there. Yeah, that could be a nice. Some job old books for. we found at the. Um, we keep finding books at the recycling, recycling centre, don't we? Yeah. yeah, yeah, and some really pretty old French books. Yeah, so on the table over there, we've got sort of a bunch of quite cute-looking books that we yeah. look really kind of old, probably probably 80 years old at least. Um, I love these two we got from a Recon as well, they're kind of matching, yeah. which is really nice. Yeah, they're beautiful. Um, done, um, I think it's Barbara of Seville. Seville. Yeah. Yeah, both of them. Yeah. You've done a video on this room, so... Yeah, yeah I'll put a link up above. Um, but yeah, the idea is that, uh, yeah. This would be a main wedding room for brides or grooms or both or... 
yeah, whatever. And basically, like just main, the kind of the, the principal bedroom of the house. Uh, main event. The main event. It's the biggest. It's the nicest. Yeah. Yeah. Although we haven't finished the others yet, so who knows? Maybe we'll True. be able to make those even nicer. And this mirror, we're yet to decide, but this is kind of if uh, the happy couple we're getting. Yeah, I'm not sure it works is. there. It's a bit weird. It just looks like it's plonked there. Yeah, so it needs to work out where to put it, but that's where the person getting married will get to check mm. themselves out. I think one of those freestanding jobbies should be good. And then we can put that in another room. That'd be a shame. But... Yeah. Anyway, um, should we move on to the next room? Yes, yeah, we've done enough on this on another video. So. Yeah, check out the other video if you're interested in more, more on this room. Nice random little mirror there. <laughs> cool, so this is the pink room. Uh, ah, so this room, I mean, you pretty much did all the work in here, didn't you? Yes, yeah. I didn't quite remember what you were doing, but I just ploughed on one weekend and got it done. What was I doing? Something very important. So then, this used to be the dressing room for the previous owner, didn't it? Mm. And then it was our first room. We felt this was like the best place to be kind of sheltered. It wasn't too big. We had a mattress on the floor over there. Um, I think you did a video about kind of... Yeah, I can't remember. I think I did a video. I think it was like the one where I told the story of us of sort of looking to buy chateaus and then yeah. did a bit of an intro when we literally just bought the place. Um, so we're so repeating ourselves on that, but yeah, this, was, is a, this is a really nice room to do, I think. It's a nice, calming place. Isn't and the bed head, you did an incredible job. I mean, before it was a really nice fabric, but it was just oh, very tired and dirty, I wasn't it? clean it, I tried, yeah. yeah it's That's sad. It was like satin, wasn't it, or silk? Yeah. yeah, it only cost 10 euros, and I think it looks fabulous now you've re-upholstered it. Yeah, easy peasy. And then those nice little bedside tables. It's been a real challenge to try and find bedside tables that match. So whenever we see them, we, like, pounce on them, don't we? Yeah, and then I just <laughs> kind of gave them a lick of paint with the same colour as the walls, and then distressed it a little bit. Oh, did you? Yeah. So you didn't do the chalk paint on there? Chalk paint and then a bit of that to kind of knock it back a little bit. Yeah. So the tone will match. Nice. And then the curtains. The curtains are amazing. Yeah, it's we got those from Maison du Monde um, in the half price sale, which was a um, good find because it's really hard to find curtains that are long enough off the shelf. Really hard, yeah. Yeah, and if you get them made to measure, you're talking kind of £600. So um, really good to find some. They were eyelet curtains, which I can't stand. Um, that's a bit extreme, but. And then we just folded them over and used uh, crocodile clip ring things. Yeah, it's a clever idea that, although yeah, really well. I reckon one day when we run out of jobs to do, we can kind of re-sew them to actually yes. just get yeah, rid of that yeah, top bit. Definitely. Yeah. It was a quick fix. Yeah, and the other thing that's really cool in this room is the, the picture, which might seem unusually large <laughs> for a bedroom of this size, but the reason for that is behind the picture there's actually this random window that looks oh, yeah, out, that onto looks the... out onto the corridor slash orangery yeah so i think you'd be able to see straight out into the orangery because there's like the corridor and there's a window in the corridor so it sort of goes straight through there um but what? very strange i think this was like an office before so one day though the orangery it had a glass ceiling so maybe mm. it would, you, you would have benefited more from that being able to see the window. view yeah but, but so it's really we had, weird. <laughs> basically had to make a picture to fit the space instead of covering up and everything. Yeah, and then we found, we actually found the kind of mouldings, the wooden mouldings yeah. on the back of one of the wardrobes. Yeah, which I rescued. Took those to pieces, cut them up, uh, used a mitre saw to uh, cut them to size, and then we made our own picture frame. So it worked quite well, didn't it? Yeah, actually this room, the more I think about it, is basically like second-hand upcycling everything. Mm, I love, so that lampshade we got for, again, I think it was 20 euros or something. And I, I really like the light bulb. It works so well in there, mm, doesn't it? It's very subtle and nice and classy. Yeah, yeah, very good. Yeah, cool. and then the picture of the balloon I love. I wanted something in here that was like, takes you away to a dream world, and that's Jules Verne from one of his ones. I think Jules Verne was from Normandy as well, wasn't he? I don't know that. Yeah, fact check. Um, but it's from the same era in the Chateau was built. 18, I think it's 1830. Really nice picture, isn't it? Um, yeah. Anyway, onwards, shall yeah, we go? Let's, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let's the dark side. have a look at the, uh, the east wing. Yeah. Ah. 
right oh gosh i love this so this is the uh, the hallway again it's the chandelier which i showed in the, the earlier video of the ground floor but oh, yeah. yeah beautiful feature it's quite cool being above it as well isn't it yeah nice. although it makes us realize how much dusting <laughs> we need to do <laughs> i'm not going to bother doing it until we finish it just keeps getting covered in dust mm. is this so this is the east wing or west wing I never this is the east wing yeah east wing. yeah this is like the one that needs the most work so everything on that side is pretty much okay this side got a lot more work we're only really just starting to do this now so um we've yeah, got big go plans to... for doing oh no we oh, can't yeah. say can we we're going to be putting a mural on here yeah, I guess it's. Can't say what it is. Okay, we can't say what. Yeah. This has been filmed from the telly show. It'll look very cool when it's done, as long as we don't mess it up. Chappity. Right. Did you check out the little bathroom that I've been working on? Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Cozy little bathroom, this one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We haven't been blessed with the Lazy size space. or shape of this one, so we're having to be very creative. Mm. We. <clears throat> Part of the challenge is when they did some work on this room, they put in these plasterboard walls, which are great because they've added insulation, but it also meant that we've lost about, I don't know, 15, 20 or 30 centimetres of the room, which was already really, really narrow. So just over there, we've got kind of what was a really tiny gap for getting into the shower. So I've had to basically start cutting it away to sort of create this gap so we can put a sort of a glass door. Because before you literally had to go like this, sideways. Yeah, had to it. squeeze it sideways. If you'd had a few too many mince pies, you wouldn't be able to get through. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unless you're like... But it's looking good now you can see the space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Plus mean, the window now opens, which it didn't. Which and yeah, it should look really nice when it's done. Anyway, on to the other rooms. Yep. Yeah. Gee. So we have to be quite careful what we say about this because this is going to be on the show as well. So we can't show you too much. No, but <laughs> it's going to be a really beautiful room. It's got these incredible views of the garden and loads of greenery outside. And again, it's a, a really light room because it's got windows. It's got like these three massive windows. Yeah, we've had to put in two new walls here because the previous ones we took off some wallpaper and they were rotten. So then we mm. took off the chipboard and it was completely rotten oh, there from was an old leak. Burnt, furry mould on it. Yeah. Um, so it was very near the area where the dry rot was, which was next door. So they'd done loads of work on all of that area and took out loads of the wood. And so they told us to get off these walls as well. Um, but now we've got like metal stud work. So that hopefully means less wood. <laughs> less wood, yeah. And yeah. plus we've got insulation in it now, which is nice because yeah. those two walls are like outside facing so it's going to help yeah and when the radiator's on it's actually really tasty in here yeah yeah but yeah big plan is going to be opulent which was all i can really <laughs> say and you'll have to tune into chateau diy to find out more about what we're planning for this room yeah, yeah. So it's a nice big room and then that it goes to a smaller room there which is kind of adjoining so it'd be perfect for like a family kids yeah. or just single person friends whatever we did toy about putting another bathroom in there but i think yeah, it's, it's good to have, it works really well if you're renting this place out to families to have a sort of a small room for the kids next door. So. Yeah, it does. You kind of self-contained here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, basically it's got its own area of the, the chateau, the whole east wing. Yeah. So. yeah, so, I mean, that's the end of the tour of the first floor. And again, we will pause there and uh, come back to this in a couple of weeks when we'll explore the third floor of the chateau and maybe... Second floor. Second floor, sorry. What did I say? Third. Third. Isn't it in France? Don't they do kind of like the floors Pensations. differently? Premier, deuxième étage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, so that's it for this floor. Um, and then very soon we'll do another video of uh, the second floor. Second floor, yeah. And maybe the, maybe the attic as well. Yeah. Yeah, we could do like the bell tower. Yeah, so thank you very much. Um, whistle stop tour that, wasn't it? Yeah, and wish us luck for the renovations of this room, which we need to crack on with now, don't we? Yeah, we really do. Mm -hmm. Right, see you later. Bye. Bye.